Assalamualaikum to our Believer Lecturer, my name is Emilia Wati. So today, we are from Group 2, we would like to present a brand plan report of Teja Hani. Before I go deeper, I am Nur Fazana Binti Ahmad and I will be the first presenter. Without wasting your time, I would like to start about phase 1 which is strategic planning. Firstly, I would like to start with the company background. Teja Hani is a business that has been established by Bahagian PJI under UL Tembrae Melaka Entrepreneurship which is Masman. Teja Hani has recently entered the market for about 2 years only and started with an initial expenditure of RM28,336.50 for 68kg lock. Teja Hani brand vision is to provide consulting and training services. Besides that, it also provides sales to the general public, especially citizens of all UATM in Malaysia. Meanwhile, for a mission uh, is to increase the income of generations of UATM. Since the brand itself is Teja Honey, they focus on honey product that come from a stainless steel and consists of three sizes. Next, I will move on to the SWOT analysis of Teja. Firstly, the strength of Teja is high quality of stainless steel from pulp. The Teja Honey brand breaks stainless steel on its own at your time local university campus. Due to that fact, Teja Honey brand can take care of and guarantee the environment in the area well. This is because the taste of color depends on what they eat. For example, mango, rambutan, ayam mata pengantin, and akasya. Therefore, because the Teja Honey brand takes a good care of the environment, it will produce a good quality of colloidal honey. Secondly, Teja Honey is the best product to consume for all ages because it has a lot of benefit, especially in terms of health. For example, it can treat a sore throat, cough, and also enhance the immune system. However, the Teja Honey brand has weaknesses. The first one is Teja Honey brand has issues regarding worker shortage. According to Medical Nila, Teja Honey brand does not have enough manpower to handle the packaging, take order, and also post order to a customer. Not only that, they also related to handle the Teja Honey pump and boot. Next, all the process and packaging use a traditional method. The process starts with pumping the Kluli Army until the packaging process ends. It is a long process and not efficient at all because no help from the patients. In addition, the Teja Honey brand also has some issue with the serum about its packaging. The packaging does not meet the standard as it is associated with the UATM logo. Lastly, one of the biggest weakness of the Teja brand is the lack of promotional activity. This is because Teja Honey brand does not have its official social media since the business share the social media with Masman. Not only that, but the Teja Honey brand also uh, does not have a good manner and keep using the same sentences in their promotion activities. The next one is opportunities for Teja Honey brand. Clearly, Honey has an excellent potential to get RM3.3 million in annual sales if the businesses is further developed. According to Dr. Noor Azura Sanusasi, a lecturer of the University of Malaysia Trinidad, the total market supply of Clearly, Honey is only RM33.6 million per year. Meanwhile, it is RM67.2 million per year of the market potential. Next, Teja Honey brand can expand its business by going with e-commerce e platform for example like Shopee and Lazada. In addition, Teja Honey brand also can open for the dropship and agent. Thirdly, providing employment opportunities. Since the mission and vision of Teja Honey are to provide consultant and training services, the Teja Honey can provide employment opportunities. Furthermore, it also can open the job opportunities and in the area and reduce the amount of unemployment. Lastly, the trade of Teja Honey. The first trade is the increasing number of competitors. There are few competitors in this industry, for example, Dino Bari Kulido, Stingley Spin Honey, and Dira Stingley Spin Honey. Secondly, it's a fake product. According to Ahmad Shahirman, Shamsuri, and Nolida Atma Idus, 2022, in Cosmo newspaper, there are 80% of fake honey in the market. This fake product will be sold at a lower price than the original one. Last but not least, lack awareness about Kulido Honey among consumers. Some, con some consumers do not know much about Kulilu honey, especially the young generation. Many people assume that honey is only honey that comes from ordinary bees. However, it has a lot of species, for example, Trigona itama. Now, I will start to explain more on the part brand architecture. Brand architecture consists of three steps, and I will start with designing brand potentials. To begin with, the Teja brand vision is to provide consulting and training services. Besides that, it also provides sales to the, to the general public especially the citizens of all UITM in Malaysia. The second important step in designing brand potential is brand boundaries. Teja Honey brand will offer something new to the target audience, which is Kululu Express. The Kululu Express is more friendly to consumer due to the packaging, so consumer can consume it anywhere and anytime. The second step is identifying brand extension opportunities. Teja Honey will be introducing a new product in a line extension, which is Kluilu Express. This product is actually honey that comes in a new size, which is uh, in the sachet. The last step is branding new product and services. Kluilu Express will be under the house of brand. This is because it is independent of the Teja Honey brand. 
in other words, rather than using Kajah Honey name, the product itself serves as uh, the primary brand. In addition, the brand also has a slogan which is product quality dari super asli. Then one for the tagline is Nyanyap and Go, which is represent uh, this product that more friendly to user, so it can be consumed anywhere and anywhere. Identifying and establishing a brand position for a new brand is essential because it is capable of putting the brand image somewhere inside of the target market minds. The first step for brand positioning is segmenting and targeting. Every product that is available on the market is for everyone, but not everyone would buy our product. And this is where segmenting and targeting come through in order to ensure our brand image being delivered to the right individuals. In order to identify targeting and segmenting, we need to look at these four types. First is geographic segmentation. We decide to set our location around Peninsula Malaysia because we want to see how the public reacts towards our product before we expand to East Malaysia, which is Sabah, Sarawak, and Labuan. Second is demographic segmentation. We target all ages group from children to elderly since our product is a healthy and safe snack to consume for any ages. Third is psychographic segmentation. We look forward towards individuals who lead a healthy lifestyle or desire a healthy lifestyle because our product is mainly for health benefits. Lastly is behavioral segmentation. We are focusing on individuals who are adventurous in product purchasing. It is because our product might not be familiar in public with individuals who are adventurous, they might consider trying our product. For a competitive frame, we select Honey Sticks by P Factory as our comparison competitors. Firstly is points of parity. Our product and competitors have a similar size of product which can be convenient to be carried anywhere. Second is the method to consume are same with our competitor, which is instant or product that is ready to eat. Lastly is our product and competitors are safe to be consumed for all ages. Next is the point of differences. The first differences is packaging. Our product packaging is using silver packaging compared to our competitors using a box. Second is the honey itself. Our product are based on stainless bees and the honey is called curd honey compared to our competitors who are used honey from the beehives. And last is from pricing. We offer the market 9 ringgit per pack and our competitors offer to the market 11 ringgit per box. Next, I will continue for the part of developing of a strong brand strategy. To develop a strong brand strategy, your company need to strengthen their brand position using brand reasoning model. In this model, there are four levels which is brand identity, brand meaning, brand response and brand resonance. For the first level, the brand salience is a very basic level, very basic layer that relates to a brand identity. It is very important to create brand salience uh, with customer for achieving the right brand identity. For the brand salience, clearly as well should create an effective advertisement that is emotional and capable of uh, creating positive experience. One of the important of having an emotional advertisement is it makes the brand more memorable. If the customer feel more uh, emotional about the content of the ads, uh, they will be more likely to buy our product and they will support our business. For the second layer, it is split into two categories which is brand performance and imagery. For the brand performance, Clulut Express has a significant advantage in terms of product feature itself. First of all, our brand has a higher nutritional value because there are no other ingredients mixed together other than a natural honey clulut. Other than that, our product also can long lasting. Besides, in terms of uh, design and price, we offer affordable price to the market for our brand. As our packaging design, we create a new design which is portable packaging design where it is in the form of a subject. Next, brand imagery. It is another type of a brand meaning. As for our brand, we might be able to form a strong brand image and be the best brand among the competitors through many ways. 
For instance, uh, user imagery. Firstly, uh, for the user imagery, we focus to deliver the best quality that is suitable for everyone to consume, especially who desire to have a healthy life lifestyle. This is because honey kelulut has three times uh, nutrition compared to other honey because and because of that, our product uh, is the best brand for the uh, healthy lifestyle. It's not only that, our product is also suitable for busy people, millennials and kids. On the third level, it is also split into two categories which is brand judgment and feeling. Kululut Express brand judgment is based on the quality of its product. Our brand has a high quality where honey kululut itself is rich in benefit for human health. Next, we are also improving an existing product which is Deja Honey into Kululut Express in terms of packaging. The innovation of the product we created is the packaging design for the Kululut Honey Express uh, in the form of a search chat. The innovation of the product can also improve uh, the value of the product and also can enhance the brand image when our product can give you something that can give benefit to the customer. The other main type of brand response is brand feeling. As for Clunet Express brand, the customer purchase our product is because it is, it is very easy for everyone to carry everywhere. Then our product provides a warm feeling, happiness, uh, excitement and safety. Honey Clunet has many benefits. For those who always consume it, they will always be in a good health. So that will uh, lead happiness for them. Next, our brand also can make customer feel excited because it can be healthy snack especially for their kids. Lastly, as we know, nowadays many people produce artificial honey. Our brand is 100% natural honey kulut and even bred by item staff and no other mixed ingredients. Lastly, the brand resonant position is at the top of the brand resonant model pyramid. Sitting at the highest level of the pyramid, it shows there is a relationship between the brand and customer. Therefore, as for our brand, we have the ability to put brand loyalty. The company can achieve the brand loyalty by enhancing the customer service. We will provide the best customer service for them. Furthermore, we will engage customer and if they have any question uh, about our product, we will uh, answer or respond as soon as possible because we want customer to feel special and important. I will continue our presentation with naming your product, brand's element strategy and utilizing secondary brand associate. Firstly, naming new product. The name of our new product is Kelulut Express. Kelulut stands for the type of honey that we use for our product which is honey stick. We have decided to maintain and emphasize the use of the honey's name in our product because consumer can easily recognize and know our main ingredient. Why the meaning of Express is our new product is easy to consume because of the small size and easy to bring and also ready to eat. Next is brand element strategy. A clear brand element strategy allows the company to identify their brands, understand what is related with consumer and keep the marketing effective. For our new product, we have implemented several brand element strategy. Memorability is the criteria that can give a good impact to our consumers such as easily recognizing and recalling our new product. The name of our new product is Kelulu Express as I have mentioned before. The name is short and simple. It can assist us to create a good brand awareness and can help consumers to easily remember our product. We also adopt a meaningful criteria. Meaningfulness is basically how brand can be described. For example, Kelulu has described the type of honey that we have used for our new product. Besides that, the use of yellow color in our packaging can give a description about the bee. B is the animal that will rise to get honey for our product. Indirectly, it can help consumers simply describe our product. Our brand is also transferability because we produce organic food and it's good for our consumer health. We can expand our product across the geographic boundaries and culture because it's suitable for all age and people. Next, Kelulu Express also adopt adaptability element which is the product logos can be updated from time to time and if needed. We also will upgrade our product qualities according to consumer preference and feedback. We adopt productivity criterion because our new product also can compete with other competitors because of our main ingredient which is honey kelulut from stainless steel. 
Uh, we explain further about other four brands element that we use. First is brand names. A brand name is significant because it can be used to represent the whole impression about the product. We choose Kelulu Express as our product name because it's short and simple. The second reason because it suits the brand identity. Next is logo and symbol. Logo is also important because it can be used to show the origin of ownership. For our logo, we have used two main colors which are gold and brown. We also put the picture of a pea as our main signature for our business. Next is slogan. We have chosen product quality that is sumber asli as our slogan because we want to emphasize the good quality of our new product is from the 100% of natural sources which is honey glucose. And the last one is packaging. We carry out a very simple and nice packaging look. We are applying gold as our main color. To sum up, products with a simple and nice color have the potential to catch the eyes of consumers. By leveraging the Jahanis company brand, Kelulu Express can generate the brand equity. And we decided to produce a new brand but in the same line brand extension. We upgrade the packaging to a very simple and user friendly. We also leverage our new product on ingredient branding. Brand consistency and predictability of its ingredient can lower risk and comfort consumer. For Kelulu Express, our ingredients are 100% pure Kelulu honey, also known as organic and zero cholesterol. Lastly, Deja Honey can also use social influencers. Social influencers are the people that have the ability to influence their followers in making purchasing decisions. Deja Honey can ask help from famous social influencers, just as Carlo Amin, to promote our new product on his social media, just as Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Indirectly, it can help us to attract new consumers and reach a larger audience. As for our product strategy, our prototype packaging will be using syllable packaging. And this is the front and back design for our design. Our product features 10 such as per pack. This is our front and back packaging design for a better view. For the packaging quality, we are using a durable material for our packaging that is not easy to tear up or damage in order to ensure safety for delivery. For our product quality, we are using only pure honey granule with no additional ingredient that can ruin the taste. As for design, we are focusing on usefulness and user friendliness for our consumer. We believe that syllable packaging is more organized to store or to brought anywhere compared to using a box packaging. And for our style, we choose to go for premium and excitement. We want the consumer to feel satisfied when purchasing our product. This is our packaging labeling. On the front design, we are focusing labeling about our product information such as logos, slogan, and tagline. As for the back design, we are focusing on the general information such as methods to consume, nutritional facts, contact information, highlight and recycle logo, and our parent company logo. As for packaging, we are focusing on the convenient size to be brought anywhere at the same time, it is durable since the material for the packaging is paper mixed with plastic that is not easy to tear up. Lastly is after marketing. We will implement a customer service program because we believe that we can create a healthy relationship with our consumer. We also believe that their voice matters and we provide an online platform for them to reach us. Other than that, we would also implement a loyalty program such as creating a membership card because it can enable them to make a repeat purchase. For our new product which is Kelulu Express, we have decided to set up the price using competitive pricing. The reason why we choose competitive pricing is because in the market, there are many companies and sellers that sell same product as us which is highly steep. When we observe our competitor's product price, it can help us to set up the price wisely and cost-effective. And indirectly, it can help us easily to attract our consumer. Our close competitor, which is B Factory Honey Stick, have set up their product price at an 11 ringgit per box. Meanwhile, for our product, we set up the price at an 9 ringgit per box. We set up the price lower than our competitors because our target market includes students. Next, for the integrated marketing communication. Teja uses 5 IMC which are personal selling, advertising, sales promotion, direct marketing, and online marketing. Personal selling 
In person, retailer can get immediate feedback on the new product which is Kalulu Express as well as their sales pitch. As a result, they'll gain a better understanding of the most frequently asked question from their customer. Teja Honey can employ the strategy by approaching and selling Kalulu Express to customers who pass in front of their kiosk. Next for advertising, Teja Honey will use billboard, radio and banners. For billboard, because of its high visibility, the product advertised, which is Kalulu Express, will be known to a wider audience. Additionally, billboards are the most popular form of advertising, with the most views and impression of any other form of marketing. If possible, the billboard will be placed in a high traffic area, where it will be seen by a large number of people. Next is radio. Radio ads tend to be short and straight to the point so that people can get the information they need. If the brand ads keep coming up on the radio, the customer will easily remember Kalulu Express. Teja Hanif's um, target will probably play the radio ads on RIFM as it is the most famous radio station in Malaysia. Next is banner. If Teja Hanif have a custom banner, the customer will be able to focus on it for a longer period of time. Banners are more difficult to ignore because they take up physical space. Banner, whether displayed indoors or on a blank exterior wall, are a are an easy way to catch the eye of potential customers due to their attractive colors and graphic. Next is sales promotion. Teja Honey will give away free samples of Lulu Express to their potential customers. People are more likely to trust a company that offers free samples because they have the opportunity to try the product before making a purchase decision. Next is product bundling discount. Product bundling is a type of upsell and cross-sell strategy that encourages customers to purchase additional products so that they can take advantage of discounted bundles of those products. For example, one purchase of Kululut Express has to be paid at the original price, while the second purchase will be given a discount of 15%. This method will make the customer think that buying two will be more worthwhile. Next is direct marketing. Um, we are using email marketing. Teja Honey will use email marketing in order to promote Kalulu Express. Email, email marketing is a great tool for establishing personal connection with existing and potential clients on an individual level. They will come to know, like and trust both the company and the product if we create newsletters and emails that are well written and interesting to read. Next, for the online marketing, Teja will use social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. If Teja Honey wants to grow their business, they need to have their own TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram account. We have already created Teja Honey official social media for, uh, for Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Social media posts on the company's official page can help customers learn about the product's features and advantages as well as any promotion or discount that may be available. Next, for the channel decision, we have come to the conclusion that the direct channel is the best option for the distribution strategy of Kululu Express. Since Teja Honey is a newly established brand, they need to increase customer trust in their brand before it is marketed to supermarkets and so on because of its high cost and the production for this product has not reached a level that can be marketed nationwide. Kululu Express will be delivered straight from the manufacturer from the manufacturer to the potential customer. Direct distribution has the advantage of giving you more control over the quality of your product and a closer relationship with the customers you are trying to reach. When Teja Honey only sells directly from the manufacturer rather than the true distributor, Teja Honey can know exactly how many units of Kalulu Express are selling and where it is being sold. This has several advantages including the ability to adjust production output to the product. If they are selling fast, Teja Honey should add more production. And Teja Honey could scale down production if the product sales are slow, thereby reducing production costs. The next one is phase 4, measurement and control. We prepare a simple feature brand tracking survey in a Google form in order to collect more information. To sum up, Teja Honey brand must be careful to understand exactly what Kalulu Express should do for the Teja Honey brand. And the more vital element is what the Teja Honey brand wants to do for the customer. Therefore, in 
order to expand the line extension of the product, Teja Honey Brand needs a proper branding strategy. In addition, since the demand for Kalilut Honey in Malaysia is a good potential, so it is a, it is a good move for the Teja Honey Brand to expand its line extension of the product, which is Kalilut Express. It can give an advantage to the parent brand, which is Teja Honey, because it can strengthen the Teja Honey Brand and bring the new customers. Thank you for listening and your time.